Something else now, transportation getting around. Traffic is moving once again through the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel, the Midtown Tunnel, the Downtown Tunnel, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, and the James River Bridge. Unbelievable. All of those were closed yesterday during Hurricane Irene, but there are still some traffic lights out. We experienced a lot of that today. If you come to an intersection where the lights aren't working, still just treat it as if it's a four-way stop. And in Suffolk, dispatchers responded to nearly 400 calls for service. Center your side's Melanie Woodrow reports many of them are still without power today. Here in Suffolk, quite a few trees came down during Hurricane Irene. Residents tell me that this damage occurred so late they didn't discover most of it until this morning. My son-in-law came to the door and opened the door and saw it and said, oh, wow, <laughs> look what happened. Carol Webb didn't discover her large oak was across West Riverview until this morning. Suddenly, she understood what others had experienced. Oh, this is what they went through. On the other side of the tree, around the bend, Austin Darden's house. Darden's wife said this old oak came down on their sleeping room on the hour. Fairly five o'clock, yeah. <laughs> It wasn't happy hour for you guys. No, it sure wasn't. Darden said he heard a loud boom, followed by his wife's scream. She said, Austin, Austin, the big tree is falling. <laughs> Funny <laughs> now, we won't find it in. The tree fell on the room Austin grew up in. Yeah, that was my room. Now Mary Hart's sewing room, it also contained every family picture from the late 1800s to present day. I just hope, I just hope some of it's salvageable. Back at Carol Webb's house, feelings of thanks and grace. I am feeling very blessed that it went that way. Carol Webb says somebody's already been by her house and told her that she could replant the tree. She's a little hesitant to do that. She even tells me that some of her neighbors are talking about taking down their trees so that something like this doesn't happen to them during the next hurricane. Reporting in Suffolk, Melanie Woodrow, 10 on your side.